He never showed up for third period or fourth. Is he still in the infirmary? I'll go check him after I eat lunch. On, ah, uh, Olgu, March is on her stomach after all. Rayuta? Oh. Ah, she's alive. That's somewhat anticlimactic. Oh, hello! Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. <laughs> fine. I'm fine. Sitting around just makes it worse. I got some medicine from the doctor, but I'm not convinced that medicine is doing him any good. I wouldn't trust anything that that doctor described. Oh god, the doctor is raping Ryuta. Oh my god. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. Wait a minute, Ryuta. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. Wait, doggy. It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. I'm going to... Go yell at the doctor. Stay here. Oh god. Alright then, come on. Let's go and yell at the doctor. This That has nothing to do with it. I'll be back in a minute. All right, let's see what the fuck he does. Apart from make me worse. Doctor! Doctor Iwemini! Oh, fuck, I'm never going to get that word right. Oh, I forgot how large he was. Barging in the door and shouting for the doctor is hardly accepted practice. Shall I prepare a sedative for you? A sedative, wonderful. No, thank you. I want to talk to you about Ryuta. Ryuta. Oh, Mr. Kawara. He left some time ago. He rested here for two hours and wasn't any better for it. You did something to him, didn't you? Yeah. Without any evidence, this is going to sound far worse. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. Again, quite, quite a rapey line there. Yes, but, I mean, something unnecessary. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints without no evidence. I thought I'd say that. <laughs> I examined his condition and provided him with the appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his bondry recovers. Bondy body! You can't possibly be holding me responsible for his unhealthy nature, can you? Yes, you've probably been feeding him McDonald's. I can only assume you have at least ten a day. Wah! <laughs> He's probably right. He doesn't have anything to do with Ray's as we body. If, if you did something to him, please do send in a complaint. After you find evidence, of course. No, no, you can't say that without there being something wrong. Ah, uh, whatever. An evil smile flickers across his face for a moment and is gone. He did something to Ryuta, didn't he? What a bastard. Now we've just got to find out why and how. <laughs> and moving on from that, we don't care. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Dillapigu, sir. Well done, you've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success! Oh, yeah! I, um... I, uh... Reached my... Peak. Oh, thank you very much. It's a play on the word on peak. <laughs> I know, it was awful, okay? I get it. Bird puns aren't my speciality. I'll come prepared with some next time. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Or term. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club, room, and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! What the fuck? So it's already the end of the year, and now we're going into summer holidays. Right. Okay. Like, sure is this game. Alright, whatever. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Okay, Sam looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing here? The floor is covered in beans. Much, much. They're good. Okay, so we're, we're not going to say much, much from now. We're going to skip on that. It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balanced supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. I'm not sure how healthy that is. What should I do? Scold him. Join in. I'm not entirely sure I should be joining in with pigeon food, so scold him! Bad Okozan! Okozan, stop it! These are Okozan's beans, you cannot interfere! I, 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 I can, really. Be quiet, where is your pride as captain of the track team? Come at me, whippersnapper! I will, you'll be fat, I can punch you and you'll die. Wow, that's so... <laughs> that sounded like it got a bit sexual there, fucking hell! And so began a food fight that spanned several hours, the floor washed in blood and beans. Blood. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. 
We'll run with it. Oh, more spanking. God, that kinky. You've got guts. Oko-san will step down in light of your determination. You're not bad yourself, Oko-san. I think I just got rival zoned. Brilliant, so Oko-san is now my rival. Well, be shagging him. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life. So, maybe I'll go running today. Or not. Or I'm just teleporting to places by the looks of... Okay. Um, can't help but realise those are probably open art assets, not, not drawn by himself. Considering how randomly different they were. I mean, where the fuck did he go? From, like, America to Japan to, like... Fucking rural Siberia and back. I mean, can, can we like scroll back? Oh yeah, of course we can't scroll back. But that fucking broken building. That's not somewhere you're going to see in something like this. Uh, uh, whatever game, whatever. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. Always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? Uh, okay. I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct! You're not a bird! You have no homing instinct! Uh, the sun's setting, I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey you! Is it Okosan? No, because he can speak. I forgot. The fuck are you? What the fuck is this? Wonderful, a drool, okay. I don't know you, where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Oh, for fuck's sake. A bird with a motorbike, of course. Alright, okay. Dramatic voice. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How fucking cute. Yeah, I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. Wow. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's the worst written scene I've ever seen. Oh, I've played game. I've played visual novels created by pretentious nine-year-olds who thinks they're the next Dickens. But this is the worst written scene I've ever seen. All right, we'll, we'll go on with our uh, dramatic voice, even though it's definitely not needed. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Th thank you, um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. I don't know what that is. Call me Azami. Well, then thank you, Azami. Well, if, uh... Worst written scene ever. Worst writ uh, worst place music ever. Those two awards are now coveted. No one can ever win those. It can never get worse than that. I'm going to assume that noise is also a motorbike. No, no dramatic voice now. I kind of burned out slightly. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Okay, is 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 that why he's so fucking weird? That that probably weird. There is a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. 
30 kilometers an hour. So she thinks she can walk at 30 kilometers an hour. Fuck! Uh, okay, quicker than that, clearly. All right, we're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. That's not how you spell brakes. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Asami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to the house, it was almost light out. It, 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 it is, and it was. Oh, right, whatever. What wasn't that something we definitely needed to go through? <laughs> it's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job, forget it. There's no currency in this game. What would getting a job achieve me? Oh, I'll tell you, we're going to forget about that. Sod that. Hmm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. College? College? I thought we were already in university. Okay, I know Americans called college and university the same thing because I suppose calling those two different things would confuse 75% of their population for whatever reason. It's like NASCAR, if they actually had a turn which went right, it would be horrible and everyone would die in a fiery flame of fire. I think that's how it works. Anyway, but this is a secondary school. It's like, oh, it's the best school in the world for pigeons, which is a secondary school. And humans can join. Alright, whatever. Slacking off and having fun is more the high scooter thing, to, schooler thing to do. Wee! Wee. What's the point? Why am I a human living in a cave? I'm not a fucking pigeon. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Today's the local festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite Ryuta Saikuya Nageki san Kazuaki. <laughs> Kazuaki. Wow. Oh, for fuck's sake, we can invite our teacher. Um, Ruth is probably dead by now. So he is stuck up prick. I don't even remember who you are. <laughs> That's how much I care. You're the stupid thing, the track bird, and you're the teacher. Let's go with the teacher because it seems more funny. Good evening, Della Pigu. Such nice weather. Anyway, you needed something? Um, sir, today's the summer festival. Want to go together? The two of us? I wouldn't mind, but wouldn't it be more fun with someone of your own age? We're... I am almost definitely older than you. Y y your life isn't that long. <laughs> I think it will be plenty of fun with you, sir. Let's go! We're looking for the paedophile angle. This is the first time I've been to a festival here. It's very lively. I feel a little dizzy. Is he going to fall asleep? Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm just not very used to crowds. Oh, I... I... I thought someone like shot him for a second there. I was like, whoa! But yeah, pretty pretty fireworks. Ah, oh, fireworks, how nice! Have you studied redox color reactions, Della Pigu? I no. Oh yes, in middle school, copper turns green, sodium turns red, and that sort of Oh, those things. I have studied it. You everyone just has to remember when going through like this, as soon as something academic comes up, I did all my education in Spanish, okay? I mean <laughs> You know, you, you gotta cut me some slack here, okay? No, no, sodium turns yellow, right? Oh, that's right, T.E. Silly me! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Anyway, that's how fireworks work. Hmm, so beautiful. Through your eyes are even... <laughs> Asleep. Oh, he fell asleep. He held up pretty well, but I guess even sleep he gets even sleepier as the sun goes down. And besides, I don't think the girl is supposed to get told she's prettier than the knight, not the man. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Well, that really was unexpected. Fuck me.